This is instruction on taking the first step on the research paper. Uh, so far we have gone over how to construct a works cited page and basically this is simply handling uh, the information that you have and its sources. But right now we're actually going to start on the work of putting uh, the research paper together. So we're going to go through really four steps here. Um, first we're going to choose a topic. Then we're going to review the outline format. And the reason we're going to do that is so you understand where your facts need to be sending you. Then uh, for those of us that are working with Google Apps, we're going to open a document. For those that aren't, we're going to start uh, working with uh, index cards and I'll explain uh, how to do that. Uh, and then finally, and this is really uh, uh, your homework, you're going to find four sources um, and you're going to, uh, in order to locate them quickly, you're going to email those sources, you're going to make a citation for uh, your um, work cited page and you're going to copy the URL so you can get back to it easily and uh, then once that is done then uh, we're going to uh, then you'll, you'll be finished with this first step so uh, let's go to choosing a topic we have a choice of uh, research paper topics here uh, these are also in the AAA research paper folder on Fusion. There are 13 of these. Now, notice that these are all uh, stated on one side or another of the issue. It's very important that you understand that you may disagree with the side that is stated. Uh, you may believe that gun control laws do not reduce violent crime, for example. And that is fine, so your research paper is going to attempt to show that uh, they do not. Uh, and that is perfectly all right. Understand that we are not going to give any consideration to which side is chosen, only how well you have researched and explained your issue. So you need to choose one of these uh, 13 topics here uh, before you get started. So. Uh, uh, please do that, and if you haven't had time to do that now, uh, go back to the Fusion page and take a look at them, or you may actually have a hard copy that your teacher has given you. Uh, but those are the topics. Now, let's take a look at what an outline is going to look like. Um, and this is also posted on Fusion. Uh, but this is nothing new to the way we've been uh, doing our writing so far. We're going to begin with an introduction, have some kind of a philosophical statement or hook, uh, a thesis uh, statement uh, with a signposting. Then we're going to have actually four body paragraphs and a conclusion. And each body paragraph will have a topic sentence, will have a concrete detail or a fact. It will have two sentences of explanation for that concrete detail or fact and a concluding sent, uh, statement. So for each of these paragraphs you need to have a fact that you can use to explain at least in part your thesis. Uh, and so those are the kinds of things you are looking for. Actually what you're going to ultimately end up pulling out of your uh, research is the concrete detail portion of each paragraph. And uh, so that is uh, what we are going to do. So now the first thing that we're going to do, I will start with the Google Apps people. We are going to start by, uh, go by you going to your uh, Google Drive page. You'll be clicking on New you are going to open a Google Doc and then you are going to title it properly. Uh, if you remember correctly, all Google Docs uh, titles begin with uh, the 
uh, block number, so we're going to say this is block 8. And then the title, the title of this document is RP1. And then your last name, whatever that may be. And um, so then you are finished with that. Now, if you are doing this uh, from home and you are not working on Google Apps, you may want to set this up on a Word document and then print it off and you can cut out what you have printed and either tape or glue it to uh, ind the index cards that you are using. Um, but at any rate, it's important uh, it is important, I believe, when you are finding your documentation or you're finding your sources that um, you keep track of them and keep track of how to get back to them. Uh, so that is uh, where we're going to go now. So uh, the first place I want you to uh, practice going to or that I want you to go to is ProQuest which uh, you will find a link to uh, on the Reagan website uh, in the library section. So you'll go back to uh, the home uh, of the Reagan Fusion page. You'll go down uh, to Library Media Center. You'll open that up. And then you're going to go all the way to the bottom, and you will find links and databases at the bottom. And so we're going to go in there. You click on databases. Here are four databases. Uh, the one I'm most familiar with and that I believe will give you uh, the best information is ProQuest. So you can click on ProQuest, and then you have to put in a username and a password. You will get a card from the library that will have these on it, um, but the username is 23 104777, and uh, the password is Big Chalk, uh, no caps, no gaps, B I G C H A L K. And then you want to click on My Products page. And that will take you here. You're then going to click on eLibrary. And now you're going to want to find some sources. My belief is that your best sources from this kind of a database are going to be newspapers and magazines. Uh, you may want to do websites as well, but let's just do newspapers and magazines for the time being. So, um, and uh, let's say that we are going to do uh, the one about the Affordable Care Act. So I'm going to type in Affordable Care Act, and we'll see what we come up with here from newspapers and magazines. And uh, so, uh, and here we go. Uh, it looks like we have quite a list. Um, so we have. Um, uh, Representative Joe Pitts hold a hearing on the Health and uh, Human Services Department. So we might want to uh, open that up and uh, see what is in there. And we're looking at this, um, and I am looking here. There's about Medicare and Medicaid. Um, and uh, here are some things about the Affordable Care Act uh, and what it has been doing. So this looks like it might be a pretty good uh, source. So I think I'm going to use this source as one of my sources. Now, uh, the first thing uh, that I'm going to want to do so I can get to it quickly is I'm going to want to email it. Now most uh, web pages will have an email button on them somewhere. So I'm going to click on this and um, I'm just going to uh, put in uh, McRuffle here and 
email address. Uh, I'll put in my email address here at the school. And uh, I'll just put in article. And then I'm going to send it to myself. So if I want to go back to this source, all I have to do is go to my email box and I can do that. But now let's go back to the article. At least I have um, a quick access to it. Uh, I want to do a citation to put on to a list of sources. So uh, I'm going to click on Citation View. Now notice we have two citations here, MLA and APA. We use MLA. So all I have to do here now is highlight and copy. And now I'm going to go back to my uh, Google Doc and I'm going to paste it in there. Remember, we paste it by using Control V. Now you'll notice here that this isn't exactly right, that this second line ought to be indented and it's not cooperating right now, but at least I have the information there. Now if I want to get back to it, this is just kind of a backup to the email, uh, I go back to uh, the article um, and I'm going to uh, go back to where it started and now I'm going to copy the URL which is this big long thing in that um, in the address box uh, right click copy and then I'm going to go back to my Google Doc and control V and there is a link to it if I want to get back to it. So now I have one source. Now another thing I might want to do uh, is I might just want to see if something like the New York Times uh, has an article on the Affordable Care Act. So let's see what we have here. Affordable. So I've gone right to the New York Times website and um, and actually it kicked me out so um, let's uh, see what else we can find here that okay here is something oh here's from the New York Times is it working that looks like it might be right down uh, the alley of the topic. So I'm looking at this thing and um, and let is the Affordable Hair Health Care Act working? Um, and here are some questions answered. And here is some pretty detailed explanation with some numbers. I kind of like this, uh, so this is going to be a good one too. Now this is going to be a little different uh, as far as doing the email. The email is up here, so I'm going to click on that. Um, and so I'm going to log into um, my email, and uh, I guess I will log into my personal email here and uh, the password that did not work so we're going to have to try something else um, So uh, I think what I'm going to do, I don't think I can email this one. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm, though I am going to go ahead and copy the URL, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to go back to uh, the research, or back to RP1, I'm going to paste it in here, 
and so I have that. But I do not have, um, uh, I, I do not have a good uh, uh, MLA citation. Now, rather than going back to the guides, one of the things I'm going to suggest is that if you uh, go to uh, the website and go on in the tools document here, you'll notice that there is a link to uh, the citation machine, which is a very useful uh, place to uh, have your uh, MLA citations done. And so we're clicking on that, and it looks like it's come up here. So now, we're on a website. We know it's a newspaper website, but it's a website. So what I'm going to, it asks for find a website by URL or keyword, but we have a URL on this one, and uh, it is, it's right here, so we're going to copy it. We're going to go back to the citation machine. We're going to paste it in there, and then it, we're going to let it search. And uh, so it, it found it here, and so we're going to select that. And it found it, could not find publisher or sponsor, so we'll go to the final step and see what it looks like. And uh, came up, uh, well, publisher New York Times, so it, it found the publisher. And notice that it has the date accessed here, so we're going to ask it to make the citation for us. And um, and here it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. With any luck, I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to go back to my uh, RP1 document, and I'm going to paste it in there. Okay, now I'm looking at this thing, but I know that this URL is not supposed to be a part of uh, the MLA. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate it. So actually what I have, it looks like, are two hyperlinks. So now I have two sources. And so you go back and forth until you come up with four different sources that will give you good information on your paper. Uh, and then uh, if you're on Google Apps, you're going to share it with me. If you are uh, using cards, you're going to uh, print off what you have here and uh, glue or tape it to a card and then hand it uh, to your teacher uh, when uh, he or she asks for it. Um, and that really is the end of the first step. So what you have to do for your homework on this one, really, is find four sources, copy them, have a good MLA on your RP1 document or on your cards, and that is it. Thank you.